Hello everyone, on behalf of Indian Institute of Food Processing Technology and the Ministry of Food Process Industries, I welcome you all to the session on processing of guava juice. To introduce, guava is a fruit cultivated and enjoyed in many tropical and subtropical regions of the world. Sidium guajava is a small tree in the maternal family and the tree is native to Mexico, Central America and Northern Latin America. Guava fruit is a climatic fruit and is extremely perishable. This fruit ripens after harvesting and it also respires after harvesting. So the shelf life of the fruit is just 10 days at room temperature and 20 days at refrigerated temperature. The fruits are harvested in the month of July, August and February and March. The fruit is called apple of tropics or common man's fruit because it is very economical fruit. In this slide you see the production statistics of guava. The total area of production in India amounts to 268,000 hectares and total production amounts to approximately 4,000 metric tons. The export quantity is 1.23 thousand metric tons and the value is 553 lakh rupees. Why guava is so important? You can see the nutrition table where nutrients per 100 gram of guava is represented. Guava is a rich source of fiber, vitamin C, calcium, iron, sodium and potassium. What are the health benefits of guava? Since it is rich in fiber, it treats constipation, it is good for diabetic patients. Since it is rich in vitamin C, it beats toothache and thus scurvy. And it is rich in antioxidants like beta carotene and polyphenols. They actually lower the risk of cancer, gives anti-aging benefit, improves immunity and heart health. So, in grass, Guava is a rich source of dietary fiber, folic acid and minerals like phosphorus, potassium, copper and manganese. The vitamin C ranges between 70 to 350 mg per 100 gram and it amounts to 2 times in oranges and 10 times in tomatoes. The carotenoids and the polyphenols, example Galacatechin, guaitroverin, oleocyanidin, and amberizocyte have good antioxidant potential. Just to compare, you can see the comparison of guava with apple and grapes. The guava is nutritionally rich in comparison to the apple and the grapefruit. You can see the fiber, phosphorus, potassium, vitamin E, magnesium, vitamin A, vitamin B3 and vitamin C, potassium, phosphorus and fiber. Thus, it is called apple of tropics and since it is a very economical fruit, it is called a common man's fruit. So, these many value added products can be made from guava. They are Pulp, RTS which is ready to serve beverage, nectar, squash, syrup and juice powder. Jam, chutney, cheese, toffee, candy and jelly. So before going on into the processing of guava juice, you just see what are fruit beverages. Beverages are easily digestible, refreshing, thirst quenching nutritious and appetizing products. They are broadly classified into unfermented and fermented beverages. What are unfermented beverages? These are fruit juices which do not undergo alcoholic fermentation. They are 
the natural and the sweetened juice and at that you have many varieties like ready to serve beverage nectar cordial squash and carbonated beverage fermented beverages are fruit juices which undergo alcoholic fermentation by microorganism like yeast example wine champagne port and sherry in the session we are going to see about one unfermented beverage which is guava ready to serve beverage under the processing we have several steps first comes the selection of fruit so you can see the conveyor picture where the fruit is unloaded from the crates only fully ripe fruits are selected for processing the overripe and green fruits affect the quality of the juice so they not used the variety and the maturity of the fruit and the locality of cultivation influence the flavor and keeping quality of the juice after selection the fruits are sorted the diseased damaged and decayed fruits are rejected and the diseased or damaged portion is trimmed off from the good ones after sorting the dirt which is adhering to the surface of the fruit are removed by washing in water by rinsing in chlorine water and then again rinsing in water you can see the bubble washer on the right hand side picture where bubbles of water removes the dirt adhering to the surface of the fruits on the left hand side you can see the sorting conveyor where the diseased damaged or decayed fruits are picked after sorting and washing the juice is extracted using the pulper so you can see the screw type pulper in the image basket presses or fruit pulpers are also mostly used in extracting the juice from the fruits after juice extraction what we do is actually clarification where the unwanted materials are removed like suspended materials pectins some fruit particles are removed how are they removed there are techniques like centrifugation filtration heating freezing and usage of enzymes in the picture below you can see the filter press and the centrifuge after clarification we can fortify the juice because during processing there can be some losses of phytochemicals or vitamins so we can top them with the nutrients which we wanted ascorbic acid and beta carotene are added at a rate of 250 to 500 mg and 7 to 10 mg per liter respectively ascorbic acid acts as an antioxidant and beta carotene imparts attractive color we also add some acids like citric acid to give a balanced taste to the product here in this table for the variety of beverages how much of juice and tss and acidity and preservative to be maintained and their content are given for example for ready to serve beverage the juice percentage we can have as minimum 10% the tss which is total soluble solid should be 10% which includes both the fruit sugar and the externally added sugar and acidity as 0.3% and the preservative is a sulfur dioxide preservative of 70 ppm mostly the potassium metabisulfite is used similarly 
for the sweetened and unsweetened juices the juice percentage and tss and acidity are given this is mentioned here because once the juice is extracted and fortified we have to know how much amount of juice should be added to create a sweetened beverage or an unsweetened beverage so after preparing the fruit juice we have to do sugar syrup preparation most of the juices are sweetened by adding sugar so this is an important step sugar apart from giving sweetness it acts as a preservative so how sugar syrup is made is sugar can be directly added to the juice or another good way is making a syrup by dissolving it in hot water and then filtering it to remove any impurities so this sugar syrup will be blended with the fruit juice and then the mix is homogenized to further remove any lumps and to get a smooth uniform mass after homogenization the mix is pasteurized this is a preservation step by application of heat it is a very common process and this process involves heat where the product is heated at 200 degrees celsius or just below 100 degrees celsius to sufficient amount of time to kill the pathogenic microorganism which causes spoilage so usually the fruit juices are pasteurized between 75 to 88 degrees celsius with times ranging between 30 second and 30 minutes depending on the type of the heating system which we have the nature of the fruit juice and size of the container pasteurization can either be low temperature long time or high temperature short time process uht process is also used it's also a kind of technique where temperatures of around 115 to 128 degrees celsius is maintained for a very small amount of time like 30 seconds so in gross pasteurization involves maintenance of temperature and time so if the temperature is 80 degrees then the time is 10 minutes and for 95 3 minutes and for 115 and above it's just 2 seconds and another point to be considered is filling temperature of the juice into bottles which is 70 to 80 degrees celsius apart from h ph is one important factor and for the fruit beverage the ideal ph which is good as 3.5 so in this slide you see some of the processing aids which we commonly use in ready to serve beverages they are sulfur dioxide the purpose is to inhibit bacteria and fungus benzoates as benzoic acid inhibits bacteria and ph range which in which it is active is less than 4.5 in sorbic acid and sorbates it inhibits yeast and the ph of the food is less than 6.5 carbon dioxide because this removes oxygen and creates an anaerobic condition as well it decreases the ph of the product the sixteen shelf life and ascorbic acid this is an ingredient which is used to avoid oxidation and discoloration of the product so any food processing aid which is used to, is to be food grade and after addition of those processing aids we have to bottle the product before bottling bottles are washed in hot water and steam and then the juice which is pasteurized is filled into it leaving a head space of 1.5 to 2.5 cm then they're sealed with crown cards by crown carking machine or with caps and then the bottles are cooled and stored for 3 months at ambient temperature 
So, this is how guava juice is processed. Before concluding, let's see the market status of beverages. World market for beverage has reached already 46.3 billion liters in 2019 and it is expected to reach 51.8 billion liters in 2025. The consumption of beverages in India amounted to 5.9 billion liters in the year 2016 and the growth amounted to a value of 11% in 2015 and 16. So we can see an immense opportunity for value addition of guava beverage. To conclude, the consumer interest towards guava has increased the scope for its value addition mainly due to the richness in taste and nutrients and the short shelf life of these fresh fruit also beckons value addition of these fruits and thus this could minimize the post harvest losses we rank number one in the world in terms of production in guava and thus we could tap this opportunity to make value added products and several technologies are already available in guava value addition and this increases the scope for business opportunities in the sector so thank you all thank you so much for your patience listening